Hey there, sign of Leo. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. So we'll be doing mostly Oracle cards. Um, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all the support I can get for this channel. And we start by calling in the divine white light to surround us here as we do this reading and surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. This is the arch, arch, I always want to say archangel every time, every time. Archetype deck by Kim Kranz. We're going to start off with that. I think we'll just use the tarot to um, clarify some of the oracle cards. That makes sense. Gnosis, a knowing, a knowing Leo, something very powerful, Gnosis, knowing, um, let's see here, let me look it up for you, Gnosis, Gnosis, all right, it is, mm -hmm. that hit way at the back, Okay, this is innermost knowing, mystic truth. Um, it says true, true knowledge is not found in facts and figures or in scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that arises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. So people that are drawn to this card uh, find themselves in esoteric studies, like involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling. No matter how far the alchemists take their studies, they come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip towards mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. <laughs> So it means contemplating the mystery and unanswerable questions. I love this quote too. Um, those who say they know, don't. And those who say they don't know, know. Isn't that, isn't that the truth of it? That's so true. All right, let's get another Oracle card. We'll go with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Wisdom of the Oracle deck for our Leos for the next 24 hours for our Leos. Next 24 hours. If another one wants to come out, and I don't think it does. So what do we have? We have orphaned. This is a feeling of not fitting in. Um, it's a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in and the need to belong and uncertainty about your place. So it says, be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way that you did before and need to find a new situation. Um, you may be feeling deep loss of sense or confusion. Address the need for belonging now and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of the pressure to fit in. It's okay of the pre to let go of the pressure to fit in. All right, let's keep moving forward. Let's keep moving forward. This is the energy deck for Leo. Energy deck for Leo. Next 24 hours, please, Spirit. And thank you. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I like that. All right, so maybe you don't feel like you belong, but... We've got this door to value, so maybe there's something that you had to go through um, to get this, to come to this conclusion, the door to value. Uh, it's almost like I get a feeling like something that makes you kind of not fit in is going to be your door to value. It will be like the portal that opens up for you, um, the sense of kind of knowing that you're a little different. Um that's going to be a good, it will serve you in the end is what I'm trying to say. All right, so we have the garden and the gate. We have the little girl and she's in this gated in area with all these flowers. And, and it's really safe, but she's looking out at the field and wondering about all of those possibilities, um, all of the potentials. 
And it's like the quote that says, a ship in the harbor is safe, but that's not what ships were built for. So she has a longing, a yearning to get out, and she feels all tied up. All tied up. She feels all tied up. There is something that needs to be made fair with this contract card. Something with, um, could be dealing with a Libra, but it's definitely about things that need to be made equal and fair. And I think, I think this is going to turn in your favor. I think if you're dealing with a uh, actual court case that it will go in your favor when I see these cards. There's something that's really unique and special about how you feel different. Um, it's a knowing, it's a, it's a knowing like the Gnosis card. And this is temporary. Something that when it's made just, when justice comes, when things are balanced out, you won't feel this anymore, this um, restraint, constricted. You won't feel that anymore. All right, Leo, let's get you a guardian angel card. Let's see what they have to say to you. Guardian angel card for our Leos, for our Leos. And then we will clarify with a few tarot. Oh, there we go. And we got it, it popped right out. Oh, nice, angel of power. See, I think it's your power. What, whatever this is, this orphaned card is about, um, the not feeling like you fit in. I think it, it's your power. There's a power to it. Um, something that gives you great power. Let me look in the angel book and I will read to you the angel of power. That's a really good card to get. Um, you've received this card because your angels have seen the hidden strength within you. That's it. That's the deep knowing um, it says, have you forgotten your superpowers that you were, that were bestowed on you before you came to incarnate on earth? It says, take time to sit quietly and focus on the issues that are causing you to concern. Call in your angel of power. Pay attention to any feelings, thoughts, messages, images, or symbols. Write down the guidance that you receive in a journal. So this angel says this angel will help you to empower others. And that reminds me of another quote. I won't kill you with quotes, but it's um, by Mark Twain. And it says that small people will always put down your dreams. The great people, the great ones, will uh, let you know that you too can become great. So your affirmation for this card is, I am a powerful and confident spiritual being that chooses to make life choices that are for my highest good. And remember, everything's leading towards that. Everything, even things that don't make sense, they're leading towards that. So let's get a clarifying card for, um, let's get a clarifying card for Gnosis. Gnosis, clarifying card for Gnosis for Leo, please. All right, and knowing in your work, in your work, it involves your work. All right, you're going to bring this inner knowing to your work. Um, somehow it's related to that. I would think that you would probably know on your timeline how that relates to you. Um, but this innermost knowing is going to relate to your work. And it's kind of touching on the power in your work. And it's touching on kind of not feeling. So it might be a job where it doesn't feel like it fits in. It may be a job or maybe a talent or a skill that makes you kind of stand out. But that's what Leos do. Leos stand out. So, orphaned. Let's get a card for orphaned. If it wants to come out. All right. All righty. Okay, a lot of fiery energy. So, it is your energy. But um, it's a conflict argument. People not getting along. Maybe that's why you're having this feeling of not fitting in. Maybe it's because there's so many disagreements around you. And there is a need to stand up for yourself and your truth with the seven of wands. So we have five, five angel numbers. And then this is five. All right. I don't know what, you know, this isn't really conflict like with, um, swords and stuff this is just people with their words not agreeing it's like a, it's like a mix of ideologies that don't get along 
And there is a need for you definitely to stand up for your truth. There's some kind of inner knowing with the work that you do. And you need to stick to that. You need to stick to knowing. And, and you need to stick to knowing that you just know. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. All tied up. All tied up. The Emperor. Oof. Okay. So, I'm thinking that the Emperor is that power that you're wanting to grab a hold of and you will. Now it can be an Aries in your life, but whenever this is not in balance, the emperor, then we have a, a tendency to feel like we're all tied up because there's some things that um, we need that power for to move forward. And sometimes it's material, sometimes it's your emotional strength. And, you know, I think that's what you're trying for. And the emperor is definitely, you know, an outcome that you're going to want. And it's, it's, it's worth it to fight for this seat. It's worth it. So what do we have on contract? Ooh. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> So I think that this means that either there's a tourist in your life or there's a person in your life that you have a soul contract with. A soul contract, it's a commitment that comes in and I think it propels you forward into this door to value. And in some cases, I'm going to say it might be the opposite. It might be that you feel constricted by this um, commitment but I think this is a soul contract that this is talking about or it's talking about a real legal contract that you're abiding by that you have committed yourself to and it might make you feel um, all tied up in a contract but I think for a lot of people it's going to be soul your soul growth your contract we have the star on the back so the star is all about um, your hopes your dreams everything that you're wanting to come true that's good oh look at that nice 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 okay these won't re resonate with everybody so you just take what does and leave the rest we have sun so we have the sun just for you happiness and well-being and i think that goes right here on the garden and the gate definitely aries taurus hmm. okay staff you will be taken care of in difficult times you will be and I, that might be part of the soul contract maybe handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important so always pay attention to who you meet maybe it's this authority figure here uh lily spiritual love spiritual love <sighs> i'm thinking that might be in your power um, boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. That'll lead you to that door to value. And flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. No, Leo, Leos don't lower their standards. <laughs> they shouldn't lower their standards. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, join me for your next reading. Sending love and light out to you all. Bye-bye.